Hey, did you know that the firefighter is your friend? So why is he your friend? Well, if your house catches on fire, a firefighter will put it out for you. A firefighter teaches you that fire is not a toy and that it can be very dangerous if not used properly. What about a match? No, no. What's a match? Fire. Is that a toy or a tool? Tool. It's a tool. It's something that we shouldn't play with, should we? It's something only moms and dads need to use. A firefighter saves lives. He will enter a burning house and get you out safely. A firefighter cares about you. The firefighter is your friend. A firefighter must always be prepared because a fire can break out anywhere and at any time. In order to be prepared, some firefighters live at the fire station. The fire station is a firefighter's home away from home. This is where they cook their meals, they keep the fire station clean, they keep their firefighting equipment in working order, and they also sleep here. The firefighter is always learning and practicing. They learn as much as they can about fighting fires because the more they know, the better they are prepared for emergencies. They practice climbing ladders because many times, either fire or smoke keeps them from using the stairs. They learn how to use different fire hoses. The fire hose shoots out a lot of water with great force, and it takes more than one firefighter to aim the hose. They must practice aiming the hose together. They learn how to operate their fire trucks. The fire trucks contain a lot of equipment, and some of it is very complicated to run. The firefighter must know how it all works. A firefighter needs to know how to use an axe to enter a house quickly, operate a walkie-talkie to communicate with other firefighters, and handle a searchlight so he can find you in the smoke. The firefighter also learns how to help injured people. And all of this takes teamwork. Firefighters must learn to work as a team because teamwork is very important when it comes to saving lives and putting out fires. Remember, fires can be very dangerous. So when firefighters enter a burning home, they must wear special clothing and equipment to protect them. So if you see someone who looks like this, don't run away from them. Come to them. They are there to help you. Hi, I'm Firefighter Denny. Today my partner is Firefighter Leah. I'd like to take a moment and explain why we wear the gear we wear. We come to many fires at people's homes and the kids are awful afraid of what we look like when we come in to rescue them. So I'd like to take a minute and explain why it is that we wear what we wear. See, Leah is fully, fully dressed for structural firefighting. That means a fire inside of your home. As you'll see, she's protected by her gloves. They're very warm, very thick, and certainly will protect her against any cuts, any broken glass, or any heat in the fire. Next, she will show you Leah's helmet, which is very similar to a football helmet, except for the window, of course, you see in front, which protects her eyes and her face from any bro broken glass or any of the heat and smoke. As you can see, it's very hard, and it'll certainly protect her from anything that might be falling from inside of a building. She now is taking off the mask that she uses to, that is provided with the air bottle on her back. That's full of fresh air in the back of her bottle there. Each air bottle contains about 30 minutes of breathing air. Again, we can't go into a fire with all the smoke and the heat without, without fresh air. We stay low and we take our own air in with us too. She's also protected by a, what is called a Nomex hood and it's fireproof. 
up to about 500 degrees. We will now take off her air pack and show you a little bit about her turnout coat. The coat itself is actually three coats in one. It has an outer outside lining that's protected, like I said, up to 500 degrees. It is also quilted for warmth in the winter. And also inside the second little layer is waterproof so that the water doesn't get inside and get you soaking wet. In some fire departments, they still wear what they call hip boots, fire boots that come way up high. Most fire departments nowadays wear what we call bunker pants, the same material that you use on your coat, but they come all the way up and they protect you from the waist down. The boots inside only come just, just below the knee. So as you can see, once Leah is out of her gear, she looks like a normal person just like you and I, and there's really nothing to be afraid of. If you ever see somebody with a uniform or an outfit like this, don't run from them. They're there to protect you and help you. If you're in a fire, don't hide under the bed and don't hide in the closet or in the bathroom. Go to this person. This person's going to help you get out of the fire. That's right. When the firefighter isn't putting out fires, he is performing many other duties, such as waving to the kids in a parade. The firefighter knows that the kids are his friend. Other duties include meeting with the kids and grown-ups alike, telling them about fire prevention. He visits local businesses and homes looking for possible fire hazards. The firefighter wants to make sure a fire doesn't get the chance to start. Sometimes you can even visit the fire station. Firefighters like to show you their firefighting equipment and tell you all about what they do. They love to answer all of your questions. No, you don't want to put the fire out. If there's a fire in your house, you want to crawl over to the door and see if it's hot. And if the door is not hot, you'll slowly open up the door. Firefighters have many ways to teach you about fire prevention. For instance, this specially built house helps prepare you for a possible fire emergency. In this house, you will get a chance to act out what to do in case of a fire. Firefighters make learning about fire prevention a lot of fun. By making fire safety fun, they know you will not be afraid if there's ever a fire at your house. But remember, a real fire is not fun. It is not pretend, and it is not a game. A firefighter treats fires very seriously, and so should you.
So you see, you need not be afraid of the firefighter. He puts out fires, he protects you, and best of all, the firefighter is your friend.